My father was a very special person. He is a special person. He's still alive. And he told me about nature without the iPhone. And um, with him, I've been to forest, I've been to the dunes, learning which plants to eat, which animals to catch. He was a policeman, so he knew all the bad things. And that made me very wise. Nowadays, I travel forest in Peru, Vietnam, or India to look for new herbs and spices which I can use in the gastronomy. And every time I find something, I say, Daddy, we got something. He made me study agriculture. And um, with the profession, I traveled in about 85 countries in the most remotest area. I worked in the seed industry, a big industry in Holland. And what struck me every time was that if you see farmers in those areas, they can tell you everything about the health benefit of vegetables. Eat this, is good for that, eat this, is that. You've been late, you're tired, eat this, uh, they check your tongue, eat some. So they know what food is. And working for this big multinational where I worked for, we came to the idea to come to work on functional food. I talk about early 90s. And fantastic, we did all kinds of surveys, and the scientists and the doctors and the professors found out that plants are the most healthiest benefit plant beneficials for the human being. And their conclusion was, let's make a pill. <laughs> and I, working as a seeds guy, working with plants, I said, look, if we were made to eat pills, we had a small hole in the side of our head to put the pill in, but not a very complicated digestive system to eat plants, because that's how we are. I decided to, to split the job and I, uh, I became a grower. And this week we are uh, 10 years now uh, growing micro vegetables. Um, but I couldn't let the idea go because it was for me an, a, a thrill to learn how good and healthy vegetables are for human beings. So my biggest learning point was the hunter collector. And uh, this, this is hunter collector. So let's call him uh, Jan Kees because he's kind of the jager. So Jan Kees the jager. <laughs> Hey, come on, this is Binnenhof. Uh, yeah? So, if you look at Jan Kees de Jager and you look at this modern version, you see... <laughs> there is practically no difference, because... <laughs> because genetically, they only change 0.2% over a million years. A human being only exists 170,000 years. So, it's nothing. We're exactly the same. And Young case, the ancient was eating plants mainly. Now, if you look at life expectancy of human beings of the last century, we did great because from 1900 on, we were, f as men, 45 years, eight, five years, 45 years on average. At the end of last century, beginning of this century, we got 75.9. So we increased 30 years over 100 years. Yay! Well done. Wrong. Because there's a misinterpretation of the statistics. If you take child mortality out, which happened after 1900, then you see that in 8081, the average age of men was 75 years. So only gained 0.9%, 0.9 years over 100 years. What went wrong? If you look at the cause of that today, and this is a bit older, but you see that cancers and cardiovascular lung diseases are a huge impact on our health. If you go back to 1880, you find out that the other causes, horses, have a bigger risk killing you than a heart attack. And that's strange, because nowadays we are so healthy and so wealthy and so rich, and we die sick. This is three pictures I have for you about obesity in the United States. We all laugh about how big the Americans are, but trust me, we're going that way very well. This is 85. And, okay, that's a bad picture. This is 2000. And 2000 me sounds like 14 days ago. And since 2000, the chance of cancer has increased with 25%. 25%. And now they even had to add colors to it to make this century. Yeah? 2010. Now, this is bad. This must be stopped. And we need a kind of master plan because this is a big thing coming to us and we don't take enough care. Plants are the closest to our ancient diet and Holland has the highest capacity of fantastic seed companies, growers, breeders, transporters, distributors. We know everything about vegetables. We are the masters in the world. We have great agriculture university and great medical university. The thing is, we don't cooperate. 
Not eating of plants is the most dangerous. And testing that is very complicated because if I want to test broccoli as being healthy, which every doctor says, I need 10,000 people to eat broccoli for 10 years compared to 10,000 people not eating broccoli for 10 years. Then we compare it and then maybe, maybe we agree that broccoli is healthy. My grandmother knows that. It's so simple. Yeah? Our food scientists are, are very brilliant people, but they're toxicologists. They know how you die, not how you get healthy. That's a different prevention. <laughs> so, they call this test double blind test, and I wonder sometimes who's double blind. This is the food landscape of Holland, and we are, we are great. We have great universities, great institutes, and we're doing fantastic things. And we have fantastic industry profiting from that. Brilliant. Great. What's missing? This one. Fresh food. We are not there. We can do it. Combine medical research with plant research for fresh produce. We have to do it because in order to reduce health costs, we have to be careful because we're spending billions on repairing people. And we have to promote healthy aging. I before called it healthy dying, but apparently healthy aging sounds better. But that's the same story. If you look at horticulture, and I work in that for my life, and I like it, we have done tremendous things. We built the most modern greenhouses, most efficient systems, and we are great on that. We are the masters in the world. About 20 years ago, we said, use too much chemicals. Okay, we solved that. Yeah, now we have insects eating insects, and we are very strong in that. Yeah, I guess you never look at a ladybug anymore as a nice animal, huh? Because it's, <laughs> it's a killer. Yeah? The next step is energy. This is my greenhouse. And this is the most modern technique to, gr to grow, and it gives a better taste, and it uses 10% of the energy. And it's also a good place to give a house party. <laughs> this picture I took last week in Japan. And this is what strikes me, because Japan has always been ahead on health and health benefit. And Japan is now working on antioxidant vegetables. They test it, they measure it, and they know and they tell people what to do with it. That's interesting, because that is, I think, the next generation. First, better growing, next, biological control, third, solving the energy problem, and now is the content of the product. We need a stimulator. We have a fantastic Ministry of Agriculture, uh, and also innovation and economics and so on. They produce calories, <laughs> they produce sugars, they produce oils, they produce fats, yeah, and they're, they're good. They, they know how to do it, most efficient. We have Ministry of Human and Ministry of Universe repairs. Obesity, cancer, heart, diabetes, all those things. Needles in your eye, whatever. Yeah? That's the other ministry. But somewhere, there's something in between, which I call the Ministry of Food and Health, because that's a serious thing. Food is not only an economic affair. Food is, food is health. And you must be very careful with that, like Grandma said. Now, if you want to piss me off, show this film on television. Iedere dag voldoende vitamine en mineralen binnen te krijgen. Helaas lukt dat niet altijd, of niet in de juiste combinatie. Zoals bijvoorbeeld vitamine C en zink, die de weerstand activeren. Daarom is er Centrum, de dagelijkse aanvulling op je voeding. Centrum bevat alle essentiële vitamine en mineralen in een juiste hoeveelheid en in de juiste combinatie. Centrum, compleet van A tot zink. You remember the whole? I got, why well, I give a speech? Because I got a penalty from some ministries because somewhere on my website it was written by a professor that broccoli is preventive for cancer. The penalty was 700 euros. And I feel very bad because I don't make profit on, on broccoli. But I want to give this message, and somewhere, somehow, we are not allowed to tell this. Other guys get away with this. If you look at this picture over here, the budget of the Mars candy bar on this picture is bigger for Europe as the whole promotion budget for vegetables and fruit together of whole Europe. I cannot fight this battle. I need help on that. And what I want is a ministry of food and health with proven claims on food, on fresh products, again to become the world leader in fresh produce, and then educate children and the adults and the chef 
to create a world of serious food. Thank you.